Hi, I'm Otto. I'm part of the 40th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to filter your calculations by using dynamic hiding. So here I have some data about product sales. So we're looking at what is the best selling product and ranking that down to the worst selling product. So here chairs are our best selling product, which represents 14% of our total sales. And as we scroll down, we can see the different products and their rank. For this visualization, I'm only interested in how well copiers are doing, so I'd like to be able to filter this down to just look at copiers. If I pull out subcategory and put that into our filters and select copiers, what will actually happen is that copiers now becomes our top ranking product, representing 100% of total sales. Now this is because in our table calculation, it's only based on what's in the view, and because we've filtered down our subcategory to only copiers, um, they now become our best-selling product. If I'm to remove our subcategory off our filters, we can see that our table calculation now works across this whole data set and copiers again becomes eighth. So we're gonna to have to find a workaround for how we can filter down to just copiers. One way to do that is to filter by the rank itself. Uh, because the rank is a table calculation, it is already calculated before it filters the data set. So if we pull this up onto our filters and select only the eighth position, it will filter this data set down to just our copiers. But if I change my mind now and I want to look at maybe machines, how well they rank, there's no easy way of finding machines in our data set. So I might say maybe they're 10th place, but no, that's appliances. Maybe they're second place. No, that's phones. So we need to find another way that we can go about selecting our subcategory to see how well they rank. So if I pull this off the filters, there's actually a final way that we can hone in on just one product. So if I show my headers of my subcategory, I can actually hide different headers. So if I select from chairs, right down to just above copiers accessories, right click, I can actually hide all of these values and then from my bookcases down to fasteners, if I hide these values, we can see that we just get our copiers left as our only thing still shown. So whilst this is good that we just have our copiers, we still don't have something that is dynamic. So what would be good is instead of hiding our subcategory, if we had another field in view that was determining what was shown and what was hidden, but that was a dynamic field. So if I bring back all of my values by showing my hidden data, my extra field that's going to determine what's shown and hidden is actually going to be a set based off our subcategory. So if I right click subcategory, go down to create, I can create a set based on this subcategory. And in my set, I only want to tick copiers. So now if I pull this set onto my rows, you can see we have copiers in the set and everything else out of my set. But our um, set here is actually broken our table calc into two. So copiers has actually now become the first best selling. But we can fix this by going into our table calculation and just making sure that our set is included in our table calculation. So I need to do this for all of my table calculations in my marks card. So now finally, all that's left to do is to click on our out and hide these values. And we can now see that we have our copiers in our set. But if I show you my set, and now I want to look at, for instance, machines. When I click machines, my machines is in my set and my copiers are removed from my set so we get a dynamic update and all of our table calculations are maintained as we want. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident about filtering with table calculations. Check the links in the description to see other how-to videos.